Welcome to Lakeshore. I'm going to walk you through your torque. Your tongue jack here, you're going to have light on the left. You stand and retract on your tongue jack. You got two 30 pound LP tanks, both full under here. 12 volt battery. This is just a lift off cover. <clears throat> Driver's side, you're going to have model, VIN, tire pressure. Generator here. When you're starting your generator, make sure you're disconnected. Um, make sure both breakers are on. Push and hold prime for three seconds. Push and hold start for three seconds. If it don't fire up, repeat process. If you run out of fuel, you have to push and hold prime longer. Going to the back, you got a sewer hose holder. Two, there. Black pool. Gray pool's down under that end. Condensation line from your fridge. If it starts dripping, it's all right. It's just refrigeration. Refrigerator. You have your back bathroom pole. Input for your satellite and cable. 50 amp feed plug-in. Fuel input. So that's going to be for your auxiliary as well as your generator. So if you're filling up quads and dirt bikes, just remember that same fuel you're going to use for your generator. Coming on the back side, it's a, it is a drop-down door. The back lights are controlled from in the garage. Coming around the passion the passenger side, you have stabilizers. This switch can control the both rear stabilizers. Um, the one in the front can control the front stabilizers. If, um, just remember you're not trying to lift your unit up with these. These will fold. Um, it's just made to take stop it from rocking left to right. Air vent, one on each side. Awning light, so and then the there is an orange porch light. You can have one or the other on, can't have them both on. City water connection if you want to use the pressure off the water hose. Portable water if you want to fill the water tank and use the water pump to, uh, off the unit. Black tank flush for the rear, black tank flush for the bathroom and the front. These do not power water hoses up to unless you're connected into the ground and your valves are open. If you got a full tank and you put water to it, you're going to have a big mess inside. It's only got one way and one way out only. It's coming out your toilet. Spray port here. Spray nozzles in the sink. It just says uh, air hose connector. 120 outlet. Just know your TV your, and your fridge are not going to work unless you're hooked to short power. Stove top here. Coming up this side, you got your water heater. Furnace exhaust, it gets extremely, extremely hot, so watch out. It will start something on fire if it's leaning up against it. Front control for your front stabilizers. Override bars just in case stabilizers fail or and to get also to get your spare tire down Battery disconnect right there to the right Let's go inside your unit here Inside your unit the black box near the floor is gonna be breakers and fuses You have anything go wrong with your camper check your breakers and fuses first coming up to the top You're gonna have the little buttons here you can control you can show you your levels Water pump, if you're going to use the tank, the water out of the tank. Water heater for the LP side. Um, porch and awning, remember that's one way or the other. Middle's off. Cabin lights, cap lights are going to be the white lights off the front. Auxiliary are going to be the two, the, the white lights outside. Slide, bringing in your slide, just make sure your bathroom door is closed. Awning control. So, AC head, you just get a push mode button. It's going to go to fan, cool, heat, or off. Let's start from your master bedroom and work our way back. You do have your generator start and stop. Also inside your unit, individual reading lights. You got little switches on the sides. You do have a switch over there. The black switch is going to control LEDs up top. Now to turn on and off this light, it's going to be right here to the right. Bathroom's pretty self-explanatory. You got a GFI breaker right next to the sink. Keys are on your sink here. Best indicator if you have shore power is going to be your microwave. If your microwave is lit up, you have shore power. Uh, if not, check again. Um, radio zone 2 is going to be outside, zone 1 is going to be inside. You can have both on, one on, one off. It doesn't matter. It's up to your discretion. Um, so, top, it's going to just work like an outdoor grill. You're just going to turn it over to the flame. Use your igniter on the left side. That's also going to write a light your oven too. 
push the button up for lights, push it down for the oven light with the lights on the dials. The light switch here is going to control the lights, the LED lights above. Going into your garage. In your garage, your 50 amp cords on the floor there. Um, another thermostat, bed lift control, bringing down your couch um, and bringing up your bed. So, bringing down your couch, you're just going to lower it. That couch is uh, not on a chain, so you'll have to guide it down with the couch. The bed's not on the chain, so you have to guide it down with the couch and raise it up with the couch. Back bathroom here. Pretty self-explanatory. You got carpet as well as a folding table and the tables that go in front of your couch. And that's going to complete our video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for choosing Lakeshore. Thank you.